All right, in this quick tutorial, we're going to look at using the swap bridge, and this is used to move your swap tokens between blockchains. And it's very important to always have them be the right format in order to be compatible with whatever blockchain you're trying to send them to. So you'll see here on the screen, I'm not logged in. If I were to go to the new bridge icon right here on the left and click there, it's going to ask me to connect my wallet. So this is what you would expect it to look like until you connect your wallet. And you have to be either connected on Ethereum, Kronos, or Binance Smart Chain. So we'll go over here to an account that I am logged in on. And you'll see that right here on the left, it's saying that I would start out where are like, where are my swap tokens now? So if I have them in Ethereum and I want to bring them over to Kronos, I'd simply click here, choose Kronos. And now we have the starting point on the left and the destination on the right. Um, it's reading my wallet. It's telling me how many tokens I have. Uh, you do have to pay a gas fee one time per wallet. So if you have multiple wallets and you're going to be working with multiple blockchains, you would have to turn this on one time um, and then connect. So here uh, I start out on the Ethereum network. So I clicked it, I paid the fee, and now it's unlocked just like the other modules in the swap dApp. Um, so what I would want to do if I want to move my tokens that are in my wallet here from Ethereum over to Kronos, I would set it up like this where I'm starting out on Ethereum clicked here I'm gonna go over to Kronos and also you'll want to have the Kronos um, here you'll need to have the Kronos um, kind of profile set up so that once it moves from one blockchain to the other it's still in the same wallet so if it if you don't have this set up yet you should set that up and if you don't know where to get that you can always go to um, the Kronos side and get that if you want to know where that is you can go to dex.swap.ee down here at the bottom see it says documentation you can click there and then this is a nice walkthrough with pictures on how to add chronos to metamask all right and once again that is under uh, documentation in the footer on dex.swap.ee so once you've got that profile set up in your metamask and you'll come over here to the bridge and you'll need to start out in wherever your tokens are currently. So if I am I have them in Ethereum right now, I need to be in the Ethereum profile here. I'm moving them over to Kronos. So you'll see here that there's a minimum, it's 5,000 swap tokens to use the bridge. Uh, 1 million is the maximum per transaction. Uh, daily limit is 5 million, so you cannot move more than 5 million per day. Um, that's how much has been used so far by everyone collectively. And then the maximum allowed amount is 1 million. So um, once you've got this all connected, let's say I wanted to send everything, you could type in an amount or you can click max. I just clicked max. I would then click move. And you'll see that there's now a gas fee of this gigantic amount and that's only because I don't have enough gas. So this is actually a really good uh, example of what happened. So. You might think like, oh my God, it's $14,000. No, it's not. It's like $70 or something like that. Actually, I had one as cheap as 40, I think I saw. Um, but I just don't have enough gas in this wallet to complete the transaction. And that huge amount is simply like an error message. It's how MetaMask tells you that there isn't enough uh, Ethereum in your wallet to spend on the gas fee. So if I had clicked accept there, then this would be processing. You have the same pending notification here. And then once that's completed, then your tokens would land. You'd have swap tokens in your wallet, but they'd be on the Kronos chain. And the way that you could read those is by snapping open your MetaMask, switching to the Kronos blockchain. You'll see that that's what I'm looking at now. And instead of me showing zero swap tokens here, then it would show the amount that I had just bridged over. So that is how you move into Kronos. And then once you're on the Kronos side, you'll see how it's reading my wallet here. This would show that full amount that I just moved over because I'm in the Kronos profile in my same MetaMask wallet that now has the Kronos version of the swap tokens. 
So one other question um, that pops up is like, well, I just set up the Kronos profile and I don't see the placeholder for the swap right here. Just realize that that is a different contract address on each of the blockchains. So the way to get that and copy and paste that in there um, could be to go here in the setup instructions. You'll see that we've put the actual contract address of swap that exists on the Kronos blockchain here. So you could copy this go into MetaMask while you're in the Kronos profile, import tokens, paste, and it says I already added it, so it won't let me, but it would populate right here if you hadn't added it already, then click add custom token, and then you'll be able to see your swap tokens in your wallet once it's in the Kronos profile here. So that's it. I'm gonna start out in Ethereum, and that is how you use the new swap bridge. Have a great day.